Hey guys, so this is just going to be a quick video on how to slenderize and how to define your face by contouring and highlighting. So, um, contouring is basically creating shadows on your face to instantly slenderize and to define and to kind of make your face look more balanced. So, contouring is one of the oldest practices that they use in the makeup industry. Like, it goes back until the 60s. Um, I know Marilyn Monroe did a lot of contouring, so it goes, it's a really old practice in the makeup industry. Um, so usually when you contour, you, you have to use, um, darker shades of brown because it, it looks more natural and it looks more neutral and it, you know it kind of looks like your skin tone so what I do is I usually use a shade that's two to three shades darker than my skin tone so you can use pretty much any kind of makeup product but I prefer you use a matte one because you don't want to use a product that has shimmers or any um, kind of glittery particles in it because you want it to look matte so it's natural so you can use different kinds of makeup products you could use a liquid foundation you could use a cream bronzer you could use mineralized powders you could use pressed powders you could, you could even use a foundation stick a darker shade of concealer you can even use an eyeshadow just pretty much anything you could use but I recommend you use mineralized and powders, mi mineralized powders and pressed powders, because I feel like it's easier to apply and it's easier to blend out, and the result is more, um, you end up with a more natural, smoother looking result compared to using cream or liquid, because when you use a cream or a liquid, it's harder to, it's harder to blend out, so... Um, you could easily just contour with powders or loose powders to do that. So I'm just going to show you guys um, some of the products that you can use, some examples, and I'm also going to show you a quick tutorial on how to do it. Alright, so you can also use highlight too. You can use highlighting um, products. And highlighting is basically just to make um, certain parts of your face stand out adding more depth and adding more balance. Okay, so let's get started, you guys. So, what I use basically all the time is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. It looks like this. And this is like two shades darker than my skin tone. And this is in dark. So, like I said, powders, it gives you more of a natural looking finish. So, this is really good. And you can also use I also use my um, NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder, and this is in Sunny, so I gotta get more, I'm already hitting pan, so. Um, oh, and you could also use a cream bronzer, a cream, yeah, so this is a cream bronzer that I just got, I didn't use it yet, I didn't, it's not even open, and it's the Sally Hansen Cream Bronzer. So, I pretty much just bought this because I wanted to try it out, but um, I don't think I'm going to use it for contouring because I feel like um, using creams and liquids, it, it doesn't look more natural than powders. Because you're going to have a hard time blending it out, and you're going to get that harsh line, and it's going to look totally fake. And when you're contouring, like, I know a lot of us have insecurities about our face, because I know I definitely do. And you know what? You don't need to go out and get plastic surgery for that, you know? You don't need to go out and spend all that money and, you know, so I'm pretty sure our insecurities are not that bad. But if you feel like you want to change your features on your face, that's what you have makeup for, you know? Makeup is a miracle worker. If there was no makeup, then... Seriously, makeup is really, really, really important. So basically, um, makeup fixes all that, you guys. Um, makeup instantly transforms your face, and it doesn't. Makeup is not used to totally transform you into a different new person. Like you don't want people looking at you and saying, you know, like 
you know, is that you? You look like a totally different person. You don't want that. You want to look like yourself, but makeup, I think makeup, the, the purpose of makeup is to enhance your natural beauty and to accentuate the beautiful, the beautiful features that you already have. All women have beautiful features, and there's always something beautiful about a woman. So if you feel like you're insecure about um, yourself, then, you know, there's nothing wrong with using makeup to make yourself, you know, feel better and to make you, you know, to make yourself look better. Okay, so, yeah, you can use a cream bronzer, which I don't use. Um, so that's about it, you guys. Now, um, let's see what else. Now, for highlighting, you can use different kinds of highlighters. Um, you can use a liquid highlighter, and this is um, from Benefit called High Beam, and it's really pearly, it's like a light pink. You could use a shimmery kind of powder. So you could use like a shimmery powder that has like um, glittery iridescence in it. And this is my e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder. And it's not matte because it's kind of shimmery. So you could use this as a highlight. And to highlight, you can even use a lighter color powder. So you can use like a light powder to highlight. You can even use a pigment. So this is just a cheap pigment, a cheap pigment that I have, and it's from LA Colors. And it's just like a beige, goldish color. And it's shimmery too, so you could just take some on a brush and just apply that where you want to highlight. And you could also use a white eyeshadow to highlight. You could use a lighter concealer to highlight. A uh, liquid concealer, so it's easier. This is a Victoria's Secret concealer. Yeah, so you could just pretty much use anything. You don't have to like stick to one product, whatever works for you. And you could also use a like a stickier kind of base. You could use a pink pot for highlighting, just as long as it's lighter. So I have this duo right here from Benefit, and it's the Boing and the Eye Bright. So you can use that too. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys a little technique, a, little, a few tricks that I do to contour my face. So with, and I'm going to use my MAC um, Mineralize Finish today. So I pretty much just, the places that I contour is usually um, my cheekbones, but I'm going to show you guys how to do everything. So with the cheekbones, what you're going to do is you're just going to find um, the hollows of your cheekbones. So you could suck it in and make a fishy face, like that, and just pretty much go here. And my trick is to make it natural, I don't go all the way down, because I feel like it, I feel like it looks fake. Because when you go all the way down, kind of, I don't know, I feel like it's too much for me. So what I do is, um, you can use an angled brush, like an angled contouring brush, but... I find using a kabuki brush is easier, and this is a retractable kabuki brush, so it just goes up like that. And this is from Eco Tools, so you guys could easily get this at the drugstore. And I like using it for contouring because the shape is like, as you can see, it's like a round shape, so it's easier to just stick it in the hollows of your face. So. So what I do is I just take them like that and just tap off the excess product. And what I do is I just start right below my temples, right in front of my ears. And what I do is I go in the hollows of my cheeks like that, and I just pretty much stay like right in this area. But what I do is I don't, I try not to pass my eye, so I kind of just stay in this area right here, like. Like behind this, behind my finger, right there. So when you do that, it kind of just makes your cheeks more, it lifts it up and it defines them. And it instantly sucks in your cheekbones. So it instantly makes it, it creates the illusion that your cheekbones are more higher and it makes you look slimmer and slender. So for extra contour, you guys, this is good for natural color, but to go really, to make the contour look really, really noticeable, I use a darker color, and I use my powder, 
blush from MAC, and it's called Blunt. And it's this one right here. It's just like a dark brown. So I just take some, it's really pigmented, so I just kind of take a little bit like that. And what I do is I just pretty much stay right here. This area right here. And this instantly, instantly, um, creates an illusion that you have from your cheekbones. And it makes your cheekbones look like it's sucked in. So I'm just going to do it on this side, you guys. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, because this camera is totally washing me out. But you guys can see that, right? Alright, see? You can see it. You see how it looks um, darker here? So, if you compare this cheekbone with this one, this one looks like... This makes my cheekbones pop out more and it makes my face look slimmer. See that? See, so contouring totally makes a difference. You see what a difference that makes? See that? And it looks natural too. And another trick is you don't want to apply too much because then it's going to look fake. See that? Okay, so you can also contour different areas of your um, face. You could do your, if you feel like you have a wide forehead, you can create the illusion of a smaller head. So you could contour your, um, the sides of your head, blending it down to your temples. And blending is really important because you want to diminish the harsh lines and you don't want it to look fake because you don't want it to show where the line starts and ends. So you definitely also want to blend out the edges. And if you feel like you put too much product, you can um, you could take a white powder, normal face powder, and just put some on, and you can just tone it down and take away some of the product if you feel like you put on too much. Okay. So if you feel like you have extra fluff over here, if you feel like you have a double chin, you can contour your chin too, which I totally have. I have a double chin. So you can contour that, and you don't want to make it look like you have a mask on, so you can blend it down to your neck. Um, you can contour your jawline if you feel like you have um, prominent, um, not prominent, if you feel like you have um, a big jawline, contour that. So it just kind of gives you, see what a difference that makes? So it kind of makes my cheekbones look more prominent, making it more lift, like I'm actually skinnier when I'm actually not. Okay, so you guys can also apply a blush on top. Um, oh, you can also contour the nose, I forgot. So you can just take a flat shade of brush like that. And I really like using a synthetic brush because it creates that line. So what you do is you just start right here on the top of your nose bridge and just pretty much go down like that. And this creates the illusion of having a slimmer, longer nose. So if you feel like you have a wide nose or if you have a fat nose, this just makes your this makes your nose look like it's longer and thinner. And it creates the illusion that your nose is not, you know, that wide. So like again, you definitely want to blend out the line that you put on the sides of your nose because you don't want it to look fake. So just make that line down down the sides of your nose bridge. And then if you feel like you put on too much product, just tone it down. Okay, so then you can just blend that out like that. Now with highlighting, you can use any highlighter you want. But we use the concealer this time. So you can take some and put it right above your cupid's bow. And that's just going to make your lips more, it's going to give your lips more of a powdier, thicker kind of look. You could highlight your eyebrow, your eyebrow bone. And that just adds depth to the crease of your eye, making your eyes look white. And you can also put a highlighter down your nose. And that's just going to make your nose look longer and more straight. Okay? See how that looks like? Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found these tips helpful. Um, so, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!